All right, so hey y'all doing boys, hope you're doing well now today. Today we're joining back over PvP for yet another Margaret showcase and probably what is the best team for Margaret. Now, if you don't know what Chandler does, um, has a single target block card, same as the Mark II Valenti. Um, there we go, that one there. Um, only one turn for the one and two star ones, but that goes up to two turns for the three star and has a counter. Almost the same as Esterosa's. Um, Esterosa has more of like a fixed damage counter, whereas Chandler, you know, counters the damage done to him. So, uh, has those there. Ultimate's alright, same one as the Blue King, and passive is applies on applies an effect which decreases all stats by 7% on enemies who use skills in PvP for one turn. So um really good character. I wish I had a little more built out. Um we are running him with the HP defense gear. Um yeah, as I said, only 13% rolls, which is a little bit sad, but we do have all of his costumes, but are not maxed out. So we'd definitely like to invest into him more in the future. But um this is the team we're using here. Haven't used it off camera yet, and let's jump right into it. Here we go, and our first opponent is a Ludo Escatame, and I feel like as long as we go first here, we should, yeah, be fine. Um, let's see, ooh, that is exactly what we want. Um, yeah, look, going first against a Ludo team with anyone with a block card, like, being able to stop the Goth from, like, instantly ranking up and having, like, that one bursty turn, which the Ludo team, like, you know, prizes so much is so, so good, but getting a three-star share on the counter regardless is just absolutely insane, and if we could also get the three-star Breath of Blessing this next turn, it's it's over just like that. I mean, the Margaret and Gotha by themselves are strong enough that as long as you run someone else like a supporting unit, you'll usually be fine. Like, they usually do really well with these, like, kind of taunty units, because as you guys know, Margaret doesn't have, like, the craziest, like, you can easily just, like, you know, remove her old gauge or, like, stun her or something like that, so... Um, there we go. That is actually a lot more, like, and that's, yeah, that's definitely Ludo dead. Um, only thing about Chandler's counter, which I'm not the biggest fan of, is he only counters the damage done to him. So, um, let's say, you know, you throw out an AoE card, he only does the damage done, you know, to him. So, a little bit unfortunate, but if, you know, he didn't, that would just be way, way too overpowered, especially on those three-star cards. Like, um, when Chandler actually came out, his counter was a lot stronger on the three-star card. It actually ended up getting nerfed, and they buffed the one and two-star quite a bit, but... Damn, that is some crazy card RNG. Um, God damn, look, just seeing Chandler do this, I mean, I really wish I invested. Him and Estorosa are both such fun units, but um, damn, Escanor is just RIP Escanor. Damn, he actually survived that? I'm surprised in all honesty, but um, Chandler also does have pretty good lifesteal from the counters, which is, you know, if he was at attack defense, we probably only would have just survived that, but probably would have got the kill on the first one, so. Um, there we go. What do we, I think we might just throw up a... Why not? Throw up the Breath of, uh, the breath of Bless and another counter, but, um, yeah, look, I've just been having so, so much fun with Margaret, and I'm, I'm not as positive in getting, like, the old victories in this video, but, um, definitely reckon we'll win, like, three or, I reckon four or five out of our five matches we do today, but, um, do I have the Chandler 4 6 as well? On my original summons, I'm sure I've told this story before, but, um, went 1,800 gems just to get one copy of him, which... Well, only just the other day when doing the Margaret Summers, I pulled two of him in like 900 gems. So, um, real unfortunate there, but um, there we go. We should be able to throw these cards off and we can get on to the next match. But um, definitely has a good ultimate as well. Like one you really want to have maxed out. That's That charge ultimate is such a nice card. And although Gotha is just an absolutely, like one of the, easily one of the most tankiest units in the whole game. Um, still some pretty good damage there, but uh, let's go on to the next opponent. There we go, and let's see. Now, I did accidentally end up getting into Challenger, um, so we will be continuing the rest of this video in Top 100, but, um, so as you can see, can't use food in Top 100, so this is gonna be a bot, but, um, let's see, what do we wanna go for? I mean, really good starting hand with this chain. I probably would've preferred the Breath of Bless card, but um, some of the bots in Top 100, I actually haven't played Top 100 before at all, I mean, let alone on a video, but, um, yeah, look. Um, some of the bots actually play extremely well, and this is actually something I've been looking to do. I might actually do a video where, like, when I finish all my top 100 matches, but, um, don't think there's any actual, like, character rewards at the moment. Like, you can't get, like, any of the Fairy Hologram or whatnot, but, um, can't, I do believe I could actually get, you know, uh, the, like, you know, uh, trophy characters, but just have to wait and see. And getting the Chandler counter off to start off, and, um, blocking the Elizabeth just because we don't have, don't want to have to deal with that stun or shield, but... Um, let's see, I'd really like another rank up card for Marg. Yeah, there we go. Um, just thinking on whether or not I want to hold on to that just in case we get a Breath of Bless. Um, because that 3 star would 100% be ideal, but, um, let's think. Is he throwing out the shield? Yeah, as you can see, definitely a bot, but, um, did we... Oh, no, because of the debuff immunity. Okay, um, 
gosh, let me think. Um, we'll go one, two, and I think we might just go three. The pumpkin bomb should break the shield. Actually, no, that was a two star, wasn't it? Yeah, that's all right. Um, hmm. I mean, we do have the go through regardless here, and this should be our final turn of the Chandler counter. So hopefully, it tacks into us a little bit. But there we go. There's the extra card we were looking for there, and um, I do still think we should definitely be able to win four out of five of the matches in this video. But um, let's see. Stunning the Chandler. I mean, that's the only thing about not running Asterosa in the back is that Elizabeth stun, just way too good. But um, do we have to? I think it might force us as well to use the um, ultimate here. Yeah, he has two. Um, let's see, we'll go one, two, and we'll, we'll rank up Margaret, why not? Um, there we go, removing the ultimate there. Um, yeah, like I just said before, even though these are bots, we are going to be struggling for these matches. And we do, of course, only have the 1-6 Gotha. I mean, just every single banner that Gotha's banned off, I've just struggled to get copies. But um, Gotha is, of course, coming back on the Kusak banner. I would not recommend summoning, though. I mean, if you guys don't know, the Kusak himself is absolutely just terrible and i mean other than him on the banner you do of course have like the assault million fest cell just once again back-to-back -back banners with them on it but um yeah just not the best banner to summon on and um let's see we, we do finally get the margaret buff up thank god and i'm just gonna send these I'm, i reckon we could break the shield with the two star and proc revive on elizabeth with the one star but um here we go that'll actually save us taking a bunch of damage as well here we go um, what's that? That's our second match now, gosh. Um, can we get the kill Margaret as well? Ah, that's a shame. That's alright. Um, do have our ultimate here. I mean, he can very easily just stun us once again, but we should be fine. There we go. Getting really good card draw as well, which is nice. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing a video where I actually see how far I can get into top 100, because, um, I'd definitely be interested in doing that. And I did actually have some guy comment. He'd like to, like, um, you know, if you guys would like to see it, a video where I actually just go over, like, the best gear and whatnot for each and every character in Grand Cross and like um what like best cosmetics are like it, it'd definitely be like a longer video but um let me know if you guys be interested in that because I mean for some characters it's definitely subjective like one like one of the main ones is definitely Mark II Valenti and ooh, actually got the kill on Elizabeth there but um yeah Mark II is definitely subjective there's like three four different gear sets you can use for her but um yeah no up to you guys by all means let me know in the comments down below but um if you attack into us at all here you should just get absolutely one tapped please attack into us with Escanor. Ah, that's all right i mean that should still do a tiny bit of damage so, oh 200 000 on a one star pumpkin bomb god damn okay um yeah putting up the breath of blast there and that should we should just be able to um i think i might actually go for the we'll, we'll throw the ultimate into the Escanor, and that'll be this match done but um, one, two, and three. Um, not type advantage, but I feel like we should still hit... What, maybe like 500,000? Is that too much? There we go. Almost 700,000 for a 2-6 Margaret there, but let's get on to our next opponent. Here we go, and a uh, lolly team. Now, um, chance of us winning this one are definitely slim, and it definitely is another bot. I mean, I feel like definitely due to my time zone, we will probably face bots in all of these matches, but it'll definitely still be a challenge, especially coming up against this here. I mean, we definitely got fortunate enough getting the like level three ble uh, breath of bless off the you know first turn, but um, oh, who's he gonna freeze here? That could be problematic, that's for sure. Especially if he freezes goat, yeah. Yikes. Um, hmm. Did we go for the two turn just for? Actually, we'll have a quick look at Margaret. What's the two and the three? So they're both two turns. No, the three stars three. Okay, we'll we'll hold on to it for the time being. Um, two and we'll waste the dissolve as well. Why not? Um, yeah, no, definitely. Like, the bot can definitely see what you're doing. There's no way anyone in their right mind would freeze go through like turn one there. But um, there we go popping up another shield. I mean, this if I was to climb in top 100, I'd definitely be using this team here. But um, you yeah, know, I feel as if though that the sense of where, you know, we're actually in top 100 now, um, we will be seeing a lot more of these, you know, teams. I mean, that's one of the things about, you know, just normal PVP is I feel as if though you do see a lot of those, like, um, a lot more of those, like, random, like, blue derriere, like the Valentine Derry teams and a lot more just random units, which I'm a fan of. I mean, you guys know I'm not a fan of just, like, seeing, like, the same, when Escanor was a thing, just seeing him every single match over and over again, but, um... And see, hopefully he doesn't have another shield here or any stuns, and we should be fine, but, um, there we go. Should be a lot tankier. That Merlin could do some crazy damage to us if we didn't have that buff up, but, um, there we go.
like a Elizabeth as well is just another crazy and definitely one like you know if you're looking to climb a top 100 would recommend but um is he stunning the stunning really I'm not too sure about that play but um, throw off these Margaret cards here, and that should just about be this match done. Um, unfortunately, we, I mean, we definitely could merge for the three star there, but I'd rather just chuck these off. Like, name another character that can do 500,000 damage on a two star card. Um, main reason I did it that way is just so we could actually kill the Merlin as well, but um, what's that? Three for three currently, and two more matches to go. Here we go, and an Assault Melee team now. Um, didn't think we'd actually be seeing many of these, and this does actually look to be a real player, so I was hoping we'd actually face one of these, but. Uh, blue, uh, the green droll, I mean, I'm I'm sure you guys have heard me say this, I'm a huge, huge fan of green droll as well. I mean, from his AoE card to, like, the single tug card isn't the craziest thing, though. I like how it works, and I'm not too sure. I believe it's detonate, the card effect is, where, you, like, you do extra damage per ultimate gauge, but um, this, like, AoE card, I'm super, super big fan of the buff and D, like, the uh, buff and debuff, like, disable card is super, super nice, but um, let's see. What do we want to go for? Um, one two and i think we'll i think we'll disable his chandler for the time being um yeah i mean i'm really not too sure like we really can just save those disable cards for chandler because like i mean the droll card could be problematic as well but um there we go we did actually manage to get as long as he doesn't throw it in this turn we should be fine because it does it doesn't have like any so I, think, I was thinking would take a lot more damage there and yikes okay so we might actually um let me think we're gonna lose shit oh no never mind okay so the margaret does actually end up surviving um let me think we really have to put up the uh, i think i might actually go for this and just try and get some life steal back because we don't really have much of a choice here um i was thinking maybe i could rank like use the two star of that and put up a counter instead but you know he still has you know two aoe cards that he could potentially have in his hands so um, there we go. Not the best damage either. Um, not the best lifesteal either, God. Um, hmm. Yeah, look, the Assault Melee team is still super, super strong team. If he didn't, like, deal as much damage to us in that first turn, we'd be fine at the moment, but, um, let me think. Um, there we go. Margaret's still just managing to hold on. Um, I think since he has the Chandler up, we will just go for this one and play just as passively as he is. Um, Slowly, I'm not. Sh I don't actually think ultimates give. No, the ultimates still give the resistance buff from Droll's passive, don't they? And oh, definitely should have attacked there into the chain. I mean, we didn't know. That's all right. Um, let's see. I mean, mm, we're not looking too bad. Definitely a close match. That's for sure. Um, he probably has these units a lot more built out than I have my Chandler as well. Um, let's think. Oh, that is that was a bad choice right there. Um, why would you do that? <laughs> Um, we might actually be able to buff Margaret here and completely turn this around. Um, one, two, and three. I'm just hoping she actually does enough damage. I mean, we do have the Death Pierce in the back, so we should get enough crits, but... Um, uh, moving the debuffs there. I'm so, so glad she held on there. Um, there we go, please. I mean, as long as we kill Chandler, we should be fine, but... There we go, look at that absolute wipe on him. Um, can we get a forfeit, since this is actually a real player? That's right, Fest Soldiers in the back. Fest Soldiers is also another super, super strong unit, but um, once again, just doesn't get as much use as some of the other ones. Like, I would say, like, the other two, can, like the Chandler and Green Droll he was using in the front, were definitely better choices than the Zeldris, but um, let's see, we'll go. Oh, it does get the ultimate. Um, that could actually be bad for us. Um, how much damage are we going to get off here? Yikes. Um, I mean,. Even if he does kill Margaret, I mean, we still have the Chandler and, and Gertha, so that's all right. We'll get on to our final match. Goddamn. Here we go. And our final opponent is another Lolly team. Um, please. <laughs> Looks to be another real player as well from the CC, but, um, oh, there we go. Du nice double rank up there. Um, I mean, we do, we'll, it's definitely better to go for like a three star card, especially with these two characters here, but I was thinking maybe we could go for the merger, but definitely wouldn't be as good an outcome, but, um, we'll go for the Merlin cards here off the bat. Definitely going to be a lot of damage on our Margaret here. Hoping we still survive. Is he going to freeze the Margaret as well? Yikes. Um, okay. We're basically forced into going for the, uh, like the three star uh, Chandler counter here. Um, and then he'll probably just put up a shield and stall out our first turn. Um, yeah, look. The Merlin team is just still to this day absolutely insane. If you know 
I'm really hoping they do bring back the collabs because like some of the characters like Keo and Amelia are just so such strong characters and such fun characters as that as well like definitely two of the funnest characters in the game but um let's see what's he going for I mean he could definitely just I didn't even think about the fact he could just freeze our Chandler as well oh, there's no way we're just getting absolutely stomped in this match and that's gonna kill the Margaret I'm guessing oh, hang on by a thread I mean yeah, look, this one was just an absolute stomping on their behalf. Let's just wrap up the video. There we go. And that just about does it for today's video. I mean, going so, so good right up until the end there. Four out of five wins, but that's all right. I mean, would definitely recommend trying it out. I mean, I'm not too sure whether or not I'd say I definitely have like, you know, my blue draw is definitely more built out than my Chandler, but would definitely recommend trying the team out. Please hit that like button, subscribe. It really means a lot to me. And I'll see you guys for some more Grand Cross content.